Something's happening. I've always wanted to date the most popular girl, drive the nicest car, and go to the fanciest school. Yale is the goal, correct? More than anything in the world. But I can't afford any of that. My uncle's paying me to escort my cousin to a semi-formal. I'll take your cousin. <laughs> what? I'll take your cousin to the dance. Why? What would you get out of it? I'd get the payment you were talking about, and I get to take your car. You got a suit? You're getting paid to take a girl on a date. Did you know that Michelle Obama got paid to go on a date with Barack? And look how great that turned out. Is that true? I don't know. But it could be true. And that is my point. Big black boots on our feet. Uh, good evening. Let's do this so we can stop doing this. We don't care what you say. I happen to think that you and I can have a really good time tonight. You have clearly never been to my high school. Let's go shred some hardwood. No, yes. no, no. Is this your job? No. It should be. Troubled rich girls in need of a chaperone. It could be big business here. I figured out how to get the money I need to go to Yale. I'm offering my services as a chaperone for whatever it is that girls want. Hey. Oh my God, you didn't. Oh, but I did. Every date would be custom built. They could pick my personality, my interests, whether I'm a listener or a talker. What's the weirdest thus far? I had to listen to this girl talk for four hours straight. All I was allowed to say was, there is no other way to see it. Oh my God, that is the perfect date. There's no other way to see it. <laughs> Can you imagine if I get enough money to get into Yale and date Shelby? Hey. That'd be my dream come true. I'll tell you a story before it tells itself. You're just waiting for people to accept you instead of accepting yourself. You act so tough. It's just an act. We used to spend time together. But I guess you'd have your new rich friends. Whoa. I don't know which version of myself I'm supposed to be. Wow, she's a really bad dancer. Yeah, she's the worst. I've been so many people these past few months. A cowboy, an art connoisseur, and a bad friend. It's time to figure out who I am and what I want. What are some of your interests outside of school? Howdy. You Me. Jenny. Oh, that's some strong, prolonged eye contact, so we're going to bounce. Yep. We were together nine years. I thought we could handle anything until... I actually just got a job in San Francisco. I just don't feel like I'm ready to leave New York. Like that. He didn't even want to try. Why do you want to try? Look at you with your pretty teeth and shit. Thank you. You're beautiful. Am I? Come on, girl. Like we're before and after pictures right now. Why men great so they gotta be great? Woo! I just took a DNA test. Hey. Who 
I gotta kill? You okay? Basically, I just really want you to call your place of work and tell them you have your period or something and then just come over to my apartment. <clears throat> you know the beginning of a disaster movie, like right before the girl who looks like me dies and like right when a girl who looked like you walk outside and be like, oh my God, look how crazy the sky looks. This feels like that. I got boy problems as a human and I leave in a week and then I turn 30 and then I die probably. I need one last epic day with my girls. Yes. You could have had a bad bitch, not committal. Help you with your career, just a little. You supposed to hold me down, but you're holding me back. I am deeply obsessed with us right now. I can't leave New York City like this. This is the end of an era. Everything's changing. I mean, we're out here taking risks. You have a girlfriend. Whatever. Kindly leave your heteronormative labels in a motherfucking box. Thank you. Making choices. Do you still have that boyfriend you hate? Who farted? Oh, shoot. I'm sorry, I was just goofing around. Yes. This just can't be where it ends. This is destiny. You are Beyonce. Jenny, we know you're texting him. Fuck! No, you can do it. Guys, for real. So I draw back, disconnect, baby, you just take all my love. Our best friend is out there drinking champagne from a bottle of green juice. I just want to scoop her up and make it all go away. Wait, it's the green juice mimosa. It's kind of genius. I feel better now. Like a failure. Well, life passed you by. I can't take any more rejection. Honey, you remember Kevin? Wow, Kit, you look just the same. So what's your plan now that you've been kicked out of school? I've taken a temporary position at a public relations firm. Did you always know this is what you wanted to do? Or did you want to do another thing first? Like, did I dream of figure skating, but my parents wouldn't pay for the lessons? You don't want to be a temp forever, do you? Kit, got a letter for you. Get ready. Get ready for what? You have come to the store, Kit. And I am the salesman. Behold, we sell what you need. Unicorns? That was the only thing I ever wanted. If I have one brought here, I have to know that you're for real. I've made a decision. I'm building a home worthy of a unicorn. I'm thinking something like a stable. I don't think a pony wants to live in your basement. That's a good point. Do you think this is some kind of joke? Should we just get you a puppy? I know that I'm just a disappointment. You're always like, why don't you have a boyfriend? Or why aren't you just more like Kevin? Oh, someone call me? No! I don't know how to be a grown-up. My parents think that I'm insane. Honey, what is really going on? This is crazy. The most grown-up thing you can do is fail at things you really care about. You need to learn to love yourself. Get out there and show us what you can do. I will! You got this. Everybody needs some magic in their lives. Even if they're all grown up. Tell me, where does this unicorn come from? The unicorn store. Oh, of course. <laughs>